All right, we're going to turn now to the new sober curious movement. It's growing in popularity. People are choosing to eliminate alcohol from their lives, not because they're addicted, but because they say they want to be healthier and reduce anxiety. ABC's Deborah Roberts has more on this. Hey, Deb. Hey, Cecilia. This is an idea that is gradually catching steam. Remember dry January? Well, this year I decided to give it a try, cutting out those cherished crisp glasses of wine just for a month to see how it felt. And for the record, it wasn't bad. Well, who knew that sober is the new cool? It's a night out at a New York bar. Drinks are flowing. I am double fisting. But no one here is going to overdo it. No hangovers tomorrow. That's because these cocktails, even the shots, have little to no alcohol. It's that sense of going out, but without feeling terrible later. It's got strawberries and an edible flower. Lorelai Biandrovsky is the founder of Listen Bar, a pop-up catering to those looking for a night on the town without the booze. When you come in and you realize that literally everyone here is on the same page, you don't have to explain yourself. No one's going to think you're pregnant. These non-drinkers have lots of company lately. Studies show that a third of people want to drink less because of embarrassment or regret or others for health reasons. Author Ruby Warrington calls it sober curious in her new book. Sober, sobriety, makes a lot of people feel uncomfortable. I think in our society, the word is so intertwined with ideas around alcoholism, but actually sobriety can be a lifestyle choice for anybody. She says limiting our drinking may be the latest frontier in healthy living. We're in this culture now where we're paying a lot more attention to our health, but yet people are still drinking. Well, I think this is partly the reason more people are getting sober curious. People are changing their diet, realizing that, hey, it actually feels great to eat more vegetables. Who knew the doctors were right all these years? And then when I drink, oh, I feel like I'm undoing all of that. We've heard a lot about mindful eating. It might mean slowing down and really being careful about what you're putting into your body and why. And I think it's about applying that same approach to alcohol. You set out to explore a question, is life better without alcohol? It's definitely different. And it's, but you didn't say better. It's helped me to really embrace the ups and the downs. I have more energy. I'm more optimistic. I feel more focused. I actually have deeper connections in my relationships now. My sleep is better. My gut has healed. And now I'm saying all of this. Yeah, <laughs> life, is, life is better without alcohol. <laughs> so if you have a drink now and again, or maybe you have a drink once a month, are you part of the sober curious crowd or not? <laughs> Anybody who's questioning their drinking um, is sober curious in my book, yeah. A lot of folks are curious. This trend has really been taking hold. Alcohol sales are going down and the alcohol industry has noticed actually non-alcoholic beer sales are through the roof. Cecilia, I know you're a doubter, <laughs> but there are some pluses, no age limit. And of course, since there's no alcohol, you can drink on the street. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. I'm going to listen. I'm going to hold out and make a decision after this is over. Uh, Dr. Jen Ashton joins us now. Let's break this down. Good morning to you. So these guys are saying we're going to give this up for at least a while. Try right. it, see if it works. We've also seen these other studies that say some alcohol, including red wine, is good for you. Right. You've tried dry January. Yes, so I did my own experiment. What's the verdict? But, but let's stick medically and talk about what the medical and scientific literature says, because this is why it can be so confusing for people. There exists what we call a J shape shaped curve and it's not J for Jennifer which means and I'm going to ask you to start pouring some wine this, this I actually there. have experience no, okay in. Yes. and what that means <laughs> what Any, that means is at thanks, moderate guys. levels or at the low level of the J you can actually see some data that supports a reduction in okay. stroke a reduction in some kinds of heart disease and then as you keep, keep going, going Cecilia am I too, pouring just like for oh, myself just keep or pouring. am I pouring what I would am I pouring what I would drink you and on all television your friends, or am I pouring right. what I would drink at home you know and this is the point as you get into the heavy range which for women is more than seven servings a week for men more than 14 you actually see an increase in some types of heart disease an increase in stroke and an increase in some kinds of cancer so again think of that J for Jennifer, J-shaped curve, which means a little and a lot, not great, moderate, 
seems to be a little Key bit better. is moderation. You've got a quiz to help people decide if sober curious is for them. Right, How's and this, this is really important. This movement is not for people who need to abstain or be completely sober for a significant alcohol dependence problem. But here are the questions we go through with people. So I want you to follow along at home and just yes or no to yourself. Have you had times where you ended up drinking more than you intended? Have you gotten into situations while or after drinking that increased your chances of getting hurt? Have you had to drink more more than you once did to get the same effect? Have you continued to drink even though it was making you feel depressed or anxious? And do you spend a lot of time drinking, being sick or hungover or getting mm. over the after effects? If you answered yes to even one of those mm. questions, that Cecilia is a sign you may have a significant alcohol dependence or abuse problem. Yeah, sober curious is not for no. this population of this people. This is about so wellness with addiction. That's correct. Yeah. So for me, listen, I did this. I found it very, very interesting. I would say if you're going to do it, track your alcohol intake on a calendar. It worked for me just like you balance your checkbook and I keep track of it. Ask your friends to kind of do this experiment with you because again, that social unit is important and be curious. See how you're sleeping, how your mood is, how your weight is, how your skin is. And if it's better, Maybe you need to cut down. Okay, but not this weekend. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> not holiday weekend. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.